you're going to need to know how to set up the switches in this Tyrannus. So let's just go through that quickly now. You press this button here with the lines and then you press page, 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 page until you get to mixes. And in mixes, you're going to turn this dial until you get down to channel five. I've already set this up, but you just press enter and it's going to ask me if I want to edit it. For you, you'll be setting this up new. And I've just used the wheel to change this so it says arm. When you click into here, move this switch here and it will pick up SA, press enter and then exit out of that. So now you've set up the arm switch. Okay, and then you're going to go down and you're going to do the same thing. This time we're setting up the beeper, so you enter here. Again, it'll ask me to edit it, but for you, you just go into it. Type in beeper and you just press select and just turn through the letters like that until you've done that. And then we're going to just go down to here, click that. And personally, I like my beeper here, which is the SD switch. So when you move the switch, it'll just say SD and it'll just pick up that that's the switch you want to use. Press enter, exit out of that. And then you're going to go down one more and you're going to set up turtle mode. Okay, so the same thing again. And this time we're going to put it on SF, which for me is this switch here. Okay, so you set turtle to SF. And then the last one we're going to do is angle mode. So we're going to put angle mode on SC, which is this one here. Okay. Then you'll have set all your switches. So I'm going to show you how to connect this to this, how to set up the switches and how to get it bound so that you can fly it and have a great time. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to set this up. We're going to need a great program called Betaflight. So you're just going to go onto Google and type in Betaflight download. You can see Josh Bardwell with some videos about how to help you there. So I would want this one here for the Mac OS and I'll just click that and download it. And now we're going to plug in the Tiny Hawk S. So you get a little micro USB and plug that in to the Tiny Hawk. And then just here you'll see it, it's found it. We press connect. And this is Betaflight, you're, you're now in Betaflight. When I'm moving the drone here, you can see it moving in real time. And this is an amazing program that will allow you to tune the quad and do lots of interesting things. But it's all quite advanced stuff, so for now we're just going to do the essential setup. It's quite easy to do. You just find the one that says arm, you click add range. We're going to drag this down to here, and then we're going to set that to AUX1. We're going to do the same thing for angle mode. Click add range, but we want the slider up here. We don't want the slider down at the bottom because we actually want angle mode to be on as default. We set that to AUX4. Scroll down, find beeper, you add range, drag it to the bottom, put it on AUX2. And the last one is going to be flip over after crash, which is turtle mode, which we set up. So you're going to add range, drag it to the bottom, put it on AUX3. So we've got four AUX switches set up and that's going to allow us to arm it, it's going to allow us to change the mode, we'll be able to activate the beeper in case we can't find it and if we, end, if we land upside down we'll be able to flip it over. Once you've done that just press save and then disconnect. Consult the instructions that you get with the Tiny Hawk so that you know how to bind it. But basically you're going to plug in the Tiny Hawk, you're going to find that bind button Again, it's in the instructions where it is, it's fairly well hidden under the bottom. And once it's plugged in, you hold the bind button for two seconds, and when the red LED is flashing, then it's in bind mode. Once it's in bind mode, you're going to go to the Tyrannus, and you're going to put that into bind mode. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. To bind it, all you're going to do is press this button with the lines, and then press page once. I've called mine Tiny Hawk S, and if you want to do that, you just press enter and then turn this to go through the different letters and call it whatever you like. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, or, or a shortcut is, we just scroll up and it'll go to the bottom. And here we go. So this is the bind mode right here. I had to set mine to D8 
and channel one to eight but it might be different for you if you're in a different country so check that you'll be able to find out just via a google search or via the instructions and then you just click bind here and now it's in bind mode and that completes the setup so all we've got to do now is plug a battery in make sure the throttle is down and press the arm switch and when we do propeller starts spinning and we can fly off so if this was useful please give us a quick thumbs up and in the next episode we're going to discuss how to fly line of sight before we get ready for that all important FPV experience so come along for that subscribe so you don't miss it and I'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>